And many around town have been left to pick up those pieces after that powerful storm hit with those winds, even rain bringing factors that of course caused a lot of havoc here within Southern Arizona. Right now, Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Daniel McFarland joining us live in Midtown right, right now on all that damage. And I know we have just some damage here in Midtown. So what are you seeing out there, Daniel? Oh, Angelique, just really tons of damage no matter where you are around the Tucson area. In fact, I was up on the northwest side earlier today. There was trees down there. We have people over towards the east side. Now it's even closer towards downtown not too long ago where there was plenty of damage as well. But at least here in Midtown, this is not going to be an uncommon sight. You can see right here along Ventura and near 10th Avenue, you do have power lines down and a mesquite tree, excuse me, and a eucalyptus tree fell on top of the power lines. Now there is power at least for a lot of the people in this area. But right now, it seems like a lot of these businesses are going to be blocked off in this spot. Now, something to keep in mind when it comes to damage like this is that it's going to take a long time to clean up because, as I mentioned before, there's damage all over Tucson. In fact, looking at what we had across the area not too long ago, really yesterday, really afternoon through the evening, we had 16 different uh, severe thunderstorm warnings and then two tornado warnings. One of those was along I-10 between Tucson and Pitcher Rocks, and the other one was on the north face of the Catalinas. It's very rare for us to see a tornado warning here in southern Arizona, let alone two just within a matter of hours of each other. Now, we are still expecting rain, as you heard from Dee a little while ago, throughout the rest of the day today. It does seem like there's going to be other spots around southern Arizona that have a better chance, so these, clu these uh, crews out here are going to need time to get ready and break down some of this. We're going to have more information on this coming up for you today at 5.